Hello, we are discussing about gate 1987 EC paper and this question is related to analog circuits. Look at the diagram. In the diagram, the operational amplifier has CMRR of 60 decibels. Then find the magnitude of output voltage. What will be the value of V0 for that question? So if you clearly observe this diagram at that time, this diagram can be divided into two parts. Okay. So this is going to be differential amplifier. It is called as differential amplifier and this is a balanced bridge. I am saying balanced bridge is nothing but the bridge consisting of equal resistances. Okay. That is R1 R3 is equal to R2 R4. That is Z1 Z3 is Z2 Z4. Opposite resistances. Product of opposite resistances or opposite impedances must be same. So now the output of balanced bridge is going to be connecting as input for the differential amplifier. So voltage across this one is going to be connected across this point. Voltage across this point is connected across this one. Say this is the voltage V1 and say the voltage across this one as V2. So V1, V2 are going to be inputs of operational amplifier that you can get from this balanced bridge. So you can write, get it as V1 is equal to 2 volts is going to be dropping from this point to ground. Either you can come in this way or you can come in this way. Both are going to be having same resistances. So same voltage is going to be dropped across both resistances. So exactly half voltage will be dropped across single R. So 2 by 2 is nothing but 1 volt. So V1 will be equal to V2 will be equal to 1 volt you will get. V1, V2 are going to be inputs for this differential amplifier. Those values from this balanced bridge is 1 volt. Remember this one. And now we will talk something about the differential amplifier before proceeding the actual answer. Okay. So this is a simple balance. Uh, this is a simple differential amplifier. If you are looking at both are going to be exactly same. Okay. So this is R3 and it is R3 R1. This is R3 and R1. So it is R3 is nothing but 100k and R1 is nothing but 1k. And V1 is all take across this point. V2 is all take across this one. Okay. So we know that one output of differential amplifier V0 is equal to V out is equal to V2 minus V1 into R3 by R1. This you can write it as V out. I am writing it as V0. V2 minus V1 is nothing but VD into AD you can write. That is AD times of VD. AD is differential mode gain. Gain provided for the differential input signal is called as AD or differential mode gain. That AD can be written as R3 by R1. Okay. So AD can be calculated as R3 divided by R1, which is 100K divided by 1K, which is nothing but 100 itself. But this V0 is equal to VD into AD is true only it. Okay. Only if CMRR common mode rejection ratio is infinite. If common mode rejection ratio is infinite, then the differential amplifier doesn't amplify the common mode signal. But if CMRR is finite, then definitely common mode signal is going to be gets amplified by some gain. That gain is going to be called as common mode gain or gain provided for the common mode signal that we call it as AC, A suffix C. Then if CMRR is not equal to infinite, that is whenever it is finite, V0 can be expressed as ADVD plus ACVC. This is what the equation now we have to use. And you must know that one CMRR is nothing but common mode rejection ratio and that is AD divided by AC. And 60 decibels if you are converting it into normal numerical value, you must use 20 log of CMRR in decibels. CMRR in dB. Then you are going to be getting it as normal CMRR. So normal CMR, sorry, normal CMRR is nothing but CMRR in dB is equal to 20 log CMRR. 60 is equal to 20 log CMRR. CMRR will be given as 10 power 3 which is nothing but 1000 you will get. 
so from this one common mode gain you can calculate it as common mode gain is equal to ad divided by cmrr ad is nothing but 100 divided by 1000 so which is 0 0.1 common mode gain is 0 0.1 and we must calculate vc and vd also vd is differential mode signal that is <coughs> v2 minus v1 and common mode signal is nothing but v1 plus v2 by 2 already we have calculated v1 and v2 values so from that one 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 volts for vd and vc is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 is 2 by 2 that is 1 volt so 1 volt is applied common for both the inputs that is going to be called as common mode inputs okay now we are going to calculate v naught is equal to advd plus ac vc so v naught is equal to ad is 100 multiplied by vd is nothing but 0 plus ac is nothing but 0 0.1 multiplied by vc is equal to 1 volt so v naught is equal to 0 plus 0 0.1 so v naught is equal to 0 0.1 volt or you can also say it as 100 millivolts so even though okay the bridge is going to be balanced and you are applying a common signal only there is no difference you are applying at the inputs but still you will get the output of 100 millivolts that is only due to CMRR is not infinite so op amp is not ideal because of that one some output voltage you are getting that voltage is treated as 100 millivolts for the given circuit so the output voltage is 100 millivolts for this circuit thank you